Hello everyone, this is Nico and Nick, and today we are going to be looking at ranking every single game in Squid Game. I've been wanting to make a Squid Game video in a while because I've noticed that it's a very, very, very popular TV show, and also it's really good. Also, just to note, there will be spoilers, so for people who, you know, haven't seen it, I really recommend don't watch this video unless you want to be spoiled. Anyways, let's get into it. Coming in at number 7, I know there's 6 games, but technically there's 7. Coming in at number 7 is Lights Out. Now, the reason why I don't like Lights Out is because it's... It's during the... Oh, what is... That's weird. I don't know why it skipped back. But I don't like Lights Out because it's in the dark, and it's all meant to be a like an attack from the big bad tattooed guy because of him I, I don't know any of the characters names I'm sorry guys I'm very sorry but because of him like this all started it's just it's just a mass panic and like I feel like a lot of people can't even watch it because they're sensitive and they just flash so many lights in this scene I just think it's really unprofessional, and I don't think this should have been a thing that they did. Coming in at number 6 is going to be the big game that everyone has been waiting for, like from the beginning of the show. It's the Squid Game. Now I don't like the Squid Game because it's, it's, it's shown as this big game with the two people versing each other. It, it keeps doing that, I'm so, I'm so sorry it does that. But, the Squid Game is a big game that is just not not enjoyable. It has the two characters fighting, and then after the main character um, gets his best friend down and he's about to die, he tries to end the game, but the, his best friend just he kills himself instead. And it, I just I think it's really not a fun game. I don't find this one enjoyable. Okay, coming in at number 5 is going to be Marbles. Now, this is the last game that, like, I don't want to watch after. To, like, I don't want to watch for enjoyment. The other ones I do, but this one... This one is all sadness. Especially the image you see on the screen right now with Ali and the um, best friend. I don't know his name. <laughs> but anyways, I think... This is, it's a really sad game, and it's really emotional, but it's only meant for one watch. If you watch this again, you'll be sitting down for half an hour watching, watching people play marbles, and then die. I think it's, it's really boring, but it's really sad to watch, like, for the first time, it's really sad to watch the old man die, to watch Ali die, and to watch the girl die. I don't know her name, but... It's sad to watch all three of them die, but, like, because the old man technically dies. Like, he doesn't technically die, I mean, like, he he dies for the v shock value, but really he doesn't die, if that makes sense. Anyways, coming in at number four is going to be the, um, the sugar honeycomb candy thing. Now, oh, it keeps exposing the next thing, but basically... I don't like the sugar candy one because, well, like, I don't like it because it's too slow, but I do like it at the same time. I like it because of how silly it is with with him, like, discovering that he can lick it, but I think it's also so genius, the fact that he's able to get the umbrella out of the cone thing. And I think, like, I do like how the setting is a playground, and it basically is like, it makes people think, like, what's the game gonna be? It kind of spoils it, but it's kind of cool how when you walk in the room, it's kind of like showing you that it's gonna be something different. But I do, I do like this game. This is one that I would genuinely go back to watch. Coming in at number three is coming in at number three is gonna be the um, red light, green light. I'm so sorry about this. 
this issue. Whenever I switch to something, it just has a seizure, I swear. But basically, red light, green light is coming in at number three. Before you get mad at me for putting red light, green light at three, just just hear me out. Hear me out. I think red light, green light is amazing. I just don't think it's as good as the next two. Red light, green light, like, you know that without the shock value of the death, like, of everyone dying, everyone can survive this easily. As long as, you know, no one is, uh, as long as no one steps, as no, as long as no one, like, is too slow or anything like that, but I do like this game. I do like it. It's, it's really fun just to watch everyone go, and it's really cool to see, like, the clutch that Ali does, and, oh, I did not mean to do that, to see, like, the clutch that Ali does, and, um, the girl pull the tattooed guy's hair. Yeah, this slides, they're moving by them, by this, by itself. It's terrible, I hate it so much. But, yeah, I, l let's just move on. I like this game, I just don't think it's as good as this next one. So, coming in at number two is gonna be Red Light, Green Light. I think, well, not Red Light, Green, <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, this video is terrible. Anyways, coming in at number two, is gonna be tug of war. Tug of war is a pretty good game. I like it because because you know half the team is like half of the people are dying, but it's so cool to watch it happen. And I love how the old man strategy. I love how it shows that even the weakest people can survive. It's not even all about the strong people. It's it's um the weak people with it too and i really i love it i love it i love how i love how everyone who's not strong can just easily beat this uh, game anyways let's move on to number one before it gets like a million dislikes which it is gonna get a million dislikes what am i doing okay so coming in at number one is the glass bridge i like the glass bridge because the thing about it is that you don't know which is the next panel for the most part you don't know which the next panel is because because it's a 50 50 chance for each one and you're basically you're gonna die if you're at the front but i think it's so cool how it's like it's like no one knows what the next one is and it's like it, it gets you sweating for it i personally think that the glass bridge, I like. I love watching everyone go through. I I've watched I've watched this one so many times, and I love watching, like, <laughs> like it still gets me scared as I watch it. But it's so much fun just to um, just to like see <laughs> everyone's reactions and things like that. I do like how the tattooed guy. I I that's why I'm calling him. I'm sorry, people. I don't know his name. I do like how the tech 2 guy dies. I like how it takes those two characters out easily without any sort of emotional thing, kind of. But aside from that, I do like this game so much. And I think the glass maker guy didn't deserve to die the way he did. Although it does highlight how evil the main character's best friend is. And I do like that. And that's the end of this video. Now, it's okay if you dislike Oh my gosh, it's okay if you dislike this video because honestly, I had, so, I had too many technical difficulties because this thing that I'm using for the top five, top, <laughs> the thing I'm using for the top seven is just messing up. Yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry, everyone. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching all my technical difficulties with this video. Thank you for watching. Okay.